Hello everyone, my name is Ming Yue Cheng. In the following, I will introduce our recent exploration on applying automated machine learning for boosting a uh, sequential recommendation. Nowadays, our life nearly has been surrounded by recommendation services. The video we played on YouTube, the movie we watched on Netflix, the items we purchased on Amazon. For recommended systems, there exist four main categories of methods, including collaborative filtering, content-based and context-based, or any combination of above. Among them, we usually hold that time and historical behaviors play a vital role in the recommendation results. In recent years, the sequential recommendation has attracted much more attention from the whole research community. Compared with static recommendation methods, such a recommendation paradigm can be more effective in capture dynamic user preference and can generate more accurate ranking results in time. This slide shows that a lot of efforts have been devoted in this area. Recently, much of the recent progress in sequential recommendation have been driven by the improvements in model architecture from the field of deeper sequence modeling, like a natural language process. Among them, self attentive and convolutional architectures become very prevalent in recent years. We know that training of very deep neural networks often suffer from great intervention or great exploding due to the inefficient signal propagation. As a result, it needs longer training time or suffer from slow convergence. Various tricks has been exploited, like the well-known residual connection network. Claimed by previous recommendation methods, it can only help us take very limited layers one question naturally arises. The depths of the sequential network really cannot be stacked with a very deep layers. Motivated by this, we attempt to introduce a simple gate modification on the standard uh, residual connection. Here, the weight can be learned and uh, initialized with uh, zero. This figure shows our impractical studies. We observe that the sequential recommendation models actually can be stacked with very deep layers. We find that it can even up to 32 building blocks in Moylan's data set and uh, can up to uh, 100 layers as temporal convolutional network. Note that these findings are greatly different from previous claimed insight in recommendation community. Most of the previous blogs hold that only several rapid blogs are enough for recommendation task. However, we challenge this perception while leverage a simple residual modification operation. Besides, we also find that it seems that self attention cannot always beat the convolutional structure in sequential recommendation. Motivated by this, we decided to develop a powerful, very, very deep hybrid network for sequential recommendation. In this work, we decided to design such a very deep hybrid network in an automated manner. We hope to leverage the ability of neural architecture search, NAS for short, Although this technique has rarely been used in sequential recommendation area, we hope to do a pioneering exploration. However, it's not hard to develop an efficient NAS method. Generally, for standard pipeline of NAS, we need a search space to organize all candidate operations. We also uh, need a heuristic search strategy. Meanwhile, we can estimate it in an efficient manner. While designing the search space, we first release two simple but very useful principles. First, we hope 
the search space can be scalable to the deepest dimension to allow the sequential recommendation model to enjoy the benefits of the deeper architecture. Secondly, we hope the search space can ensemble a reception field of both self-attentive and convolution architecture for further capture user behavior dependence. We find that actually a table style search space can satisfy these two principles. Despite uh, a lot of number of advancements brought by NAS in other areas, automatically design a well-optimized deep sequential recommendation architecture can be very hard, especially with the number of layer divs and choice operations increases. Hence, here we organize two key NAS techniques to solve the searching inefficiency and uh, ineffectiveness issue caused by the very deep layer of sequential recommendation model. Specifically, we construct the self-supervised training signals to optimize the bed sharing supernet. Considering it's unrealistic to evaluate all subnetworks, for instance, if we preserve four candidate operations with 16 layers, which would naturally lead to about 30 space size of four to 16 power. Therefore, we here progressively shrink the search space by selecting the top performing all by layer by layer, replaced by block by block. Besides, due to training the SIPNET with self-supervised training signals, we evaluate the candidate architecture with the common targets as our training signals. In our experiments, we first research the ideal architecture and retrain it again. The baseline here, we mainly compare our methods with two types of models, including pure type of candidate architecture and random search architecture. As is shown in table two, we find that the search can yield better performance than other methods. It should be noted that the spend time here, uh, both training supernet and uh, model selection steadily compared with previous works, training even one architecture post a long time. For example, as reported by the pioneer NAS methods developed by Google, it often needs more than one sound GPU for a week. It can be found that our search cost is affordable in real recommendation uh, applications. We also visualize three of the search network found by our methods in this figure. It shows that this search architecture ensemble multiple different network operations and prefer to adopt a high percent of transform architecture while transforming sequence embedding metrics to hidden limitations. Surprisingly, we noticed that the searched network architecture tended to adopt TCN architecture in the beginning and the ending position of the whole model to the dimension of the deep layer. Furthermore, we also in practical find that the searched architecture maintains great transferable ability from one thing to another. Uh, we believe these findings is very useful in real applications. Lastly, we conclude our work. We claim that with advancement network architectures, sequential recommendation methods can be stacked with very deep layers. Uh, even up to 30 uh, plus beauty blocks or 100 plus uh, convolution network. Secondly, we hold that automatically design very deeper architectures can yield promising performance for sequential recommendation. Uh, we actually, in a way, our work integrating the capacity of both self-attention and convolution 
uh, together, which can perform better than a pure model in capture user sequential dependence. Uh, for future work, for NAS, it's why to, to keep the search space size uh, in this way, how to prune the search space is very necessary and vital. This is one part of our referred papers of our research work. Uh, we have uh, made our codes available. Uh, that's my presentation. Thanks for your attention. Uh, any questions? Thank you very much for your presentation. Uh, we have uh, time for questions. Uh, if there are any question and feedback from the audience, please uh, uh, let me know. Um, while we wait for question and feedback, I, I, I have maybe like two. Uh, it's a bit related to uh, what is what is next to some extent, for example, uh, looking with uh, respect to the search space. A little bit more, you talk about performance, uh, but can you say more from the scalability issue? Um, how do you think this is this is going to work? I know it's a bit of like future work, but this is, for example, this is an important part of having those sequential models do, doing well, so more as the scalability, scalability efficiency aspect. Uh, okay, uh, good questions. Uh... Uh, in our work, uh, we hold that our search space uh, preserve four candidate operations uh, with uh, 16 layers. Uh, however, in actually, we can modify the search space with more candidates. In this way, the search space size uh, closely, uh, can increase. Well, for example, you will have 10 candidates uh, with the same layers the search space size is uh, uh, 10 to 16 power. Uh, in this way, uh, the current methods didn't uh, take the largest space size. Uh, in this way, the search efficiency uh, will slow our methods. Uh, uh, that's uh, our understanding. Uh, thank you for your question. Thank you. Any other questions from the audience? I have one or two more, but I want to give the opportunity to others. Okay, so uh, I will go into your experimentation. So you use two data sets, the movie lens and the last FM. Uh, maybe there's, there's a, uh, based on your experience, um, is, there some, is there some particularity with those data sets? Uh, your proposed approach outperformed a lot of the state of the art, but the the performance of it, like with some data set, is a bit easier than with some others, just where the performance are. Can you, are you able to say a little bit more uh, the nature of the data set and how maybe it's easier in what particular, one particular domain compared to others? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, indeed, uh, conducting experiments on more data set is very necessary. Uh, however, we uh, the two data sets, Moylens and the last of them, are two very uh, popular and prevalent benchmark data sets. Uh, we find that, uh, uh, thanks for your great uh, suggestions, I will, we will conduct more experiments to verify the effectiveness and the efficiency of our methods in more data sets. Thank you. Thank you. 